Greetings and salutations, you guys. Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I hope you guys are um, nice and dry where you are because it is. It has been raining really hard where I where I live since yesterday evening, and it has not let up. It's like currently still raining um, intensely, and it's yeah. I, I, it lo looks like the pool is flooding, which always freaks me out. It's not, like, actually flooding. Like, I know it wouldn't actually flood because it has, like, something to prevent that from happening. But, like, the water is, like, literally all the way at the top. And it just, like, it just looks crazy. But, happy, happy Monday. I hope you guys are all doing really well. Hi, Kirsten. Adrian says hi as well. Um... What is everyone doing today? Oh my gosh, I made such a delicious, like I had a little lunch before this. And it was, um, it was almost a Niswa salad, but instead of fish, or like supposed to be salmon, right? I just used um, a leftover breakfast sausage. And it was like the jalapeno chicken sausage from Trader Joe's, and I just cut them up into little pieces and it was so good with my salad and it's uh, my I, I like to make up like my own like weird dressings for my salad and right now I'm mixing up like a little bit of the chipotle tabasco sauce with QP mayo and I put that on my salad and it is so good just a little salt and pepper and you're good to go and it's so delicious and flavorful so it's yum 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 Hey, Carmen. Oh my gosh, Kirsten. Same. Rain always makes me, like, it, 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 like, is, make, it makes me sleepy, but I think it's also because it kind of relaxes me. So I just, like, want to, like, cuddle up, like, in a blanket and, like, read a good book or watch a, watch a good movie. Hi, Lady Badger. How are you? Did everyone have a good weekend, though? Did anyone do anything fun yesterday? Hey, DG House. How are you? Oh, my eyeballs. Oh, I have to show you guys something cool. I don't know why I can't finish any of these projects, like, completely. Because I did, like, my... The only project that I finished was my little aquifer right here. I still haven't finished the big one. It's, like, still like this. I can't decide what I want to do with this. Um, I might actually do it later. Who knows? Um, while I'm doing laundry. So I might work on this. But... I have been working on, I wanted to practice on a hydro flask. And this is like one of the little canisters that the kids use for lunch. And this this particular one is the first one that I bought them that I got at the thrift store. And it has gotten really dented over the years. I think they've had this for like three or four years. But I wanted to practice um, stoning it. And I did the top and it looks amazing. And I try to place the stones in a way that you can't tell where the dents are. The top was, was super duper dented. The front just has one kind of like big dent right here. But the whole top was like dented like that. And you can barely tell anything. So I think it's really cool. But look how magical that looks. I love the red. I think it's super duper fun. Um, hi, Karen. Ooh, what three movies? Okay, what three movies would you guys add to your movie marathon? What three movies do you guys recommend to watch? Um... Let us know in the comments of this video right here. I linked it. It was this morning's YouTube video. That is such a good question. And today we're giving away another one. I have so many of these. Uh, this is another Impressions uh, by Vanity compact double-sided mirror. So this is today's giveaway. We have another one of these. So brand new in box. Leave your answer in the comments. Um, I'm trying to think what three movies I really... I Okay. I'm weird because I love to watch horror movies for some reason. Like, scary movies are my favorite. Uh, I watched one last night. I forgot the name of it. It's called, like, No One's Looking For You or... Oh, Wrong Turn, I think was the name of the movie. It's, like, a group of friends. They go um, stay at a, like, an inn. And then they go... Go, they go out like hiking and then they get lost and then there's like these um, people in the woods that attack them. It's crazy and they go missing. The dad's looking for them. It's, it was really good. But yeah, we've been missing you, Lady Badger. 
how are you? And Purple Rain, hello. Oh, Carmen, you just, you just got out from school. How was school today? <gasps> A Cinderella story. <laughs> I love, um, like, those old, like, romantic comedies. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. 27 Dresses. Um, I love, like, Under the Thescan Sun. Uh, what's it called? Um, First Wives Club. So good. Because I Said So. Um, and that's with, like, that was with Maddie Moore and Diane Keaton. That was such a cute movie. Lauren Graham was in it, too. She was um, one of the sisters. And so was, I think her name is Piper Paraboo from Coyote Ugly. Um, oh my gosh, She's the Man is so good, too. She's the Man. Um, what else? I love Uptown Girls. I love Brittany Murphy. She's amazing. We lost her too soon, honestly. And she had the most beautiful voice. She had an amazing voice. Oh, my water's over there. Hold on. Got my water. I always, I always clean off my desk and then I just manage to get it super full of stuff again. I don't know. My desk is always a mess no matter how often I try to clean it off. She really is. Oh my gosh. 50 first dates. I don't know why. Like, it literally always makes me cry for some reason at the end of the movie. Oh my gosh. Every time I watch it, I don't know what is wrong with me. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. I love Taken 1, 2, and 3. Okay, Lady Badger. That, yes. Taken, um, Hostel is crazy. All the Saw movies. Like, all those horror movies. Vadrian always makes fun of me because I love to watch like horror movies. Like you would think that that wouldn't be my favorite. <gasps> I love the proposal. That was a good one too. Plus that house was amazing. I love like movies with beautiful houses. They're like the extra, like the other main character of the movie. Like the mo the house in um, Something's Gotta Give. I love that movie too. That's, uh, who, wait, who was in that one? Um, that was a Diane Keaton one, right? With Keanu Reeves. And she's like an author and she lives in this beautiful Hamptons cottage. And they make the house look so small, but like super cute in the movie. But then in real life, like the house is actually like massive. That is so funny. Oh, yeah. And that was actually her own bag. I saw that in, like, a... Um, in one of the... What is it called? Interviews with Sandra Bullock. She was like, that was, that was her actual bag. So I thought that was cool. The Lake House. I love a walk to remember with Mandy. Anything with Mandy Moore. She's like my favorite. Purse creator, you have that orange Birkin from some, from uh, the proposal. You have to show us. I want to see it. I'm sweating. All this talk about good movies is like making me too excited. Mm -mm -mm. I love all these like movie recommendations though. It's making me so happy. So yeah, leave your answer in the comments of this video. Don't forget to give the live a thumbs up and then that video as well. It helps the channel immensely. And... Ooh, House on Haunted Hill. Um, 13 Ghosts. Ghost Ship. Anything with ghosts. 
Oh, Casper is a good one, which is like kind of Cinderella story meets that something scary, not really, but cute. Oh, Matilda is good too. All the Pitch Perfect movies are so good. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with watching the clips on TikTok of Pitch Perfect. I just want to be in one of those, um, like, sing what are they called? Acapella singing groups. I feel like we never had that at my school. We never had acapella or anything. We had choir. I almost joined choir, but then I didn't. I didn't want to have to, I, did, I was too shy to um, audition, so I never did it. Was anyone in like choir, like in high school or college? Or anyone in band? I was in band, but only in junior high. And then I was going to go, I was going to do it in high school, but then um, I decided that I wanted to do tennis in high school instead. And I, co I could have probably done both, but I was like, eh, <laughs> it's going to be like too much. <gasps> oh, Linda, that's good. We wanted Zach to try out or to join choir because they have choir in school, like in their elementary school, but he doesn't want to do it. And I'm like, aw. Out of the three kids, he's the one that sings the most, too. Like, which is strange, because growing up, we were always singing. Like, it was nonstop. Even now, always singing. And, but the three, like, these, my sisters and kids, like, they don't really sing very much. Like, I'll just sing walking around the house. And... I'm like annoying and I'll sing about what I'm doing or like what the kids are doing or I'll sing songs about them and just like make them up. And they're just like, they used to like it a lot though when they were little, but not so much anymore. Now they're like, oh, stop it. <gasps> Rebecca, really? You played the snare drum? That's so cool. Oh, oh, that was a good movie too, Drumline. Yeah, that was really fun. Karen, okay, believe it or not, I was, super duper shy, like in elementary school, high school, um, the first few years of college, super duper shy. But I, I, um, I was a biology major. We had to do so many presentations and I would, um, also do, what are they called? Um, like conferences and whatever, like, for stuff that we were researching in class and I also worked in a research lab so I had to give a lot of presentations so I like taught myself how to <laughs> do like public speaking and all that so that really did help um kind of like bring me out because when I was younger like I could I always had the worst time public speaking I would like I would be so stressed out I would get literal nosebleeds like that's how bad it was and yeah it was crazy but man hi Sharon how are you oh it's a holiday over there yay Okay, but let's get started. <laughs> I'm super chatty for some reason. It's like 14 minutes in. We haven't shown any new items. Um, but I do have a, like, a pretty fun amount of things. Um, I don't know what number we're going to today. It is only lunchtime, so it is early. There is that link again, though, for the giveaway. I'll remind you guys again later on. Um, again, we're giving away another one of these brand new Van Impressions by Vanity uh compact mirrors and let's get started all right so our first item 
I'm going to show this one first before I decide that I want to keep it because I can't keep everything. I'm already keeping a couple of things for myself. Um, but this one is so cool, super unique. And hold on, let me move the crossbody strap so it's not in the way of the design because it is super duper cool. This is a Jack Spade tote bag. Oh, Carmen, I have a Bottega Veneta belt. I can show you that right after this. Um, this is a Jack Spade tote bag. It has the Loch Ness Monster on it. It is so cool. So it's black leather. Uh, the blue part of the water is painted. And then there's like little parts that are like pieces of leather that are sewn on. And then the Loch Ness Monster is also um, like another piece, like different pieces of leather sewn on as well. And it's in like this. It's almost like a Nubuck embossed lizard skin which is really, really cool. And then you, it's also on the back. So it looks like the Loch Ness Monster. I think it's such a cute bag. So it does have the top handles. The handles are um, long enough to carry on your shoulder, but it does also come with a crossbody strap. It's nice and thick. It's fully adjustable, so you can extend it. Um, you can shorten it, all that stuff. It has brushed silver hardware. It also does zip across the top and then it just has a black fabric interior lining there's a zipper pocket in the back and then there is there are two pockets on the other side isn't it so cool but yeah the brand is jack spade it's like the the uh the the brother of kate spade of the kate spade brand and they make really fun bags as well but this one i feel like is super unique and i've never seen a bag like it uh it's all blue on the bottom as well it's in pretty good shape um minor signs of wear if any like very minor rubbing on the corners if any uh, i think this right side probably has the most rubbing but it's a beautiful beautiful bag um the size is about this it's, i think it's about the size of the neverfull gm uh but yeah, so this is item number one. And it's our Jack Spade. Hi, Cindy. Uh, Jack Spade. Um, yeah, like that. Uh, Jack Spade. I'm just going to call it the Loch Ness monster tote with brushed silver hardware how much is this one be doing okay i'm doing this one for 145 that's going to be item number one 145 dollars jack spade okay next up We have item number two. Oh, this one is really cute. Okay, this is a vintage Juicy Couture um, shoulder clutch bag. And this is a black treated leather, so it looks like there's glitter. The glitter is not gonna come off. I don't know how they do this. Um, Chanel and Kate Spade also kind of does like this very similar kind of finish to the leather where it's like the glitter is like bonded to the leather or something. So it's black, but it looks beautiful and shiny and shimmery. This is brand new, even though it is vintage. It's, I don't think it's ever been used. Um, it has the original juicy packaging in the inside. And it also comes with the original tags as well. Retail on this was $200. And the interior lining looks so cute. It's like a watermelon. It's like pink with black polka dots. There's one interior pocket right there. I am also obsessed with the hardware. Look at the hardware on there. Like, I feel like it's so cool. I would, I would have bought this just for this little chain strap because I think it's really, really cute. And would look cute on a lot of other bags, too. So you can wear it like this on your shoulder, remove it, wear it as a clutch. 
You can attach a crossbody strap to this if you wanted as well, if you wanted to wear a crossbody. Um, but yes, Juicy Couture, vintage, black, glitter leather. Hi, Astrid, how are you? Um, there's the back. Nothing, no like really design elements on the back. It just has the big bow on the front and then it has the little Juicy Couture um, logo right there on the stud. And number two. Oh, Lady Vag is calling number one. Congratulations, Yay! Lady Vag. Yay, thank you, thank you. Awesome. I was literally going to keep it if no one wanted it. It's such a cute, cute bag. So unique. I'm obsessed. Um, so this is number two. Is our black, our Juicy Couture. How much is this return? Okay, we're doing this one for $50. Again, it is new with tags. And that is number two. Oh, I should say it's in like new condition because it is a vintage bag, but it's really cool. Uh, Rorty, up next. We got number five. Yeah, it is, right, Lady Badger? The that bag, like the retail was like crazy on it. Okay, next up I have This is a a black Tory Birch. Oh my gosh, why is it wrinkly? I wrinkled it. Um black Tory Birch tote. It does have a crossbody strap as well. And it's a black nylon. It has black leather trim in a soft yano. Gold hardware. The strap is uh, like a fabric strap. But it's in really good condition. All the corners are really good. It's just a little wrinkly from being squished inside the bin that I had it in, unfortunately. Um, there are some light marks on the hardware. Nothing crazy, though. Just like light marks from normal wear. It does have a magnetic snap at the top. And then the interior, it's in pretty good shape. There's some... Slight discolorations, primarily at the bottom of the bag. It's in this like tan color fabric lining. There's a zipper pocket and then two open pockets inside of there. And the handles are nice and long, so you can actually wear this as a shoulder bag as well. And again, it does have the adjustable crossbody strap. There's the bottom. All the corners are really good. There's no like holes or major rubbing of any sort on the sides. Bottom is good. There's the back. And this is going to be item number five. This is our black nylon Tory Birch tote bag. And this is okay. We're doing this one for $75. It's going to be item number five, our black Tory Birch tote. Next up, wait, why did I have that for number five? That was item number three. What is wrong with me? Sorry about that. I don't know why I put a five there. It's item number three. Sorry. All right, next up is number four. No, Lady Badger, I missed it. I'm a mess. Oh, this one is really cool. Um, this is a Henry Bendel backpack. Um, oh, I forgot the name of the style. Do you remember the name of the style of this? Um, I think it's the Jets. I don't remember the name. Uh, but this is a Henry Bendel backpack. It is, like, it looks like new. It's in this, It's it looks like a linen fabric, but I know this is a performance linen, so... It's gonna be stain and water resistant. And then it has, uh, oh, it's the Jet Setter backpack. Um, the gift exchange is gonna be on the 17th, Carmen. So next Saturday is gonna be the gift exchange. So you have about two weeks to have your items shipped out to your Valentine or Palentine. Um, 
Oh, I forgot to do the belt. I'm sorry, Carmen. I'll do that after this one. My gosh. It does have the back straps right here. They're fabric with leather trim. You can also wear this as a crossbody bag. It has D rings in the inner corners of the bag. So you can we can move the straps to there, wear this as a crossbody. So you can wear this bag a couple different ways. It still has all of the original uh, paper packaging from Henry Bendel. The inside is this amazing royal purple color. There's a zipper pocket in there and then a slip pocket and then like a vintage phone. Hi, Adriana. And th this bag is in like new condition. It's in really, really great shape. Such a fun like summer, spring, summer bag. And it has like a cute little lock detail. It's, I call this like the Birkin backpack. It's really, really cute. There's two zipper pockets on the sides. There's also a pocket here in the front. And I believe I can, yeah, you can put your cell phone into here also. Oh, Adriana, I'll show you the Tory after this one. So this is our Henry Bendel Jet Set Backpack. Oh, convertible backpack. Convertible backpack with tan linen and soft piano leather trim with gold hardware oh also um i think someone's initials were put on there b-a-y in gold hi tara and how much is this Adrian? okay we're gonna do this one for 85 dollars it's gonna be item number four And then, okay, I'll show you guys, I'll show you, I'll show you Adriana the Tory really quickly that I showed. And then I'll get that belt. So here is that Tory, Adriana, it's just a black nylon Tory tote. Nylon, Safiano leather handles, as a fabric crossbody strap and gold hardware. And let me see if I can find where I put that belt. Here it is. Here is the belt. It is, um, it's a black leather and it has a silver triangle buckle. This is Bottega Veneta. It does not fit me, unfortunately. I'm sad about it. It's like a size medium. That's how it looks, like buckled up. It's really cute, just a black leather belt, silver triangle buckle. Really, really cute. I wish it fit me. This is item number five. This is our black leather, and it's in really, really great condition. It looks like it's hardly ever been used. Um, black leather, Ortega. Veneta belt with silver hardware and this one is $150 that's going to be item number five right like and it's so cute okay, so that's our belt Next up, I have Oh, and also there's a couple more people in here than there were earlier. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. I'm giving away another one of these um, Impressions by Vanity compact mirrors. So leave your answer to today's question in the comments of the video that I linked right there. We're giving away one of these. Oh, Purple Rain's call number five! Congratulations, Purple Rain. Number five. Is what we ring? What? Oh, uh, I was like, what? Okay, congrats, Purple Rain. Enjoy that belt. Oh, 
Okay, next is gonna be. Oh, I I have this still too. Um, this is the blue Dior wallet. It's in a soft touch, like matte finish. It has, this is a removable Dior charm. It spells out Dior in blue. It does have a little bit of like color loss on the corners of the hardware. It's not too crazy though, but there is a little bit of color loss on there. But you can remove this too and put it on other things, which I think is really cute. The zipper works beautifully. The inside is nice and clean in that same color as the exterior leather. Lots of card slots. There's a little zipper pocket right here, which is the change pocket. It's nice and clean. There's just minimal rubbing on the exterior corners of the wallet, but it is really, really beautiful. And the color is stunning on this. So this is going to be item number six, our blue Dior wallet in matte finish with silver hardware. And this is, okay, we're going to do a little discount on this one. We're going to do 225. That's going to be item number six, 225 for our blue Dior wallet. Oh, my mom texts me. Let's see what she says. Okay. Next up, we got number seven. I have so much toy birch. Like, it is kind of ridiculous how much I have. I feel like I only have Tory Burch bags at this point. Um, but this is our next item. This is a Tory Burch crossbody. And this is in a black Safiano. I believe that this is a coated canvas. So it looks like a leather, but it's, you know, it's like the Louis Vuitton um, coated canvas. But it looks like a Safiano. It's black, and then it has like the, the they're like um, embroidered onto a patent coated canvas and it makes like the little diamond shapes on the top flap. It's really cool. It has gold hardware. The hardware has light marks on it, nothing crazy. Hi, Hana. Um, there is a nice big back pocket. And, oh, largest iPhone does fit with the case and the big pop socket on. I feel like that's important. So that does fit into the back of the bag if you wanted to fit it in that pocket. It'll for sure fit in the interior. The top flap is magnetic. And then you just have like a black, with a black fabric lining. And then you have one zipper pocket right there. And it's super clean on the inside. Exterior, also in great shape. Um, really the only like wear are the like there's just light marks on the hardware on the front. But they're minimal. And crossbody strap is not removable or adjustable, but let's see how long it is. Oh, it is removable on one side. Oh, okay. So crossbody hits me exactly right at my hip when I wear a crossbody. And I wonder if I can... Oh, so I think maybe I can shorten it. Oh yeah, you can shorten it. So you kind of put the chain through and then you can reconnect right here. So it becomes a little bit more of like a shoulder bag style. So you can kind of carry it a, different, a couple of different ways and uh, change the length of that strap. And this is going to be number seven. It's our black, our Tory Burch black, Safiano diamond quilted flap bag with gold hardware. And this is, 
Okay, we're gonna do this one for $70. It's gonna be item number seven for 70. Our black Tory Burch flap bag. Next up, I have Oh, I have the Kurt, this Kurt Geiger. Kurt Geiger. I can't talk anymore. This Kurt Geiger is beautiful. I'm obsessed. This is a cream quilted leather. It has the it has an evil eye on it and it's embroidered and bejeweled. And then the little bird is the iris right there. Really, really pretty gold hardware. It does have minor rubbing on the corners. Nothing too crazy, but this, there is some minor rubbing on the corners. But that's pretty much it for the wear. On the bag, the crossbody strap is adjustable, so you can wear it as a shoulder bag as well. And then in the interior, you just have one interior pocket, and then it just has black fabric lining on the inside. Um, nice and clean. And... This will be item number eight, our cream quilted leather Kurt Geiger Evil Eye bag. And this is Oh, I know Marisol. She told me that she got it from you, I think, right? Oh, uh, okay, this one is Kurt Geiger flap bag. Okay, we had this one at ninety. Let's do ninety. Yeah, ninety five. We'll see it at ninety dollars today. Actually, we're going to do eighty five. Eighty five. If anyone's interested for this one, that is going to be item number eight for eighty five dollars. Uh, number eight, Kurt Geiger. Next is nine. Number nine is this beautiful sunshine yellow Tory Burch uh, crossbody bag. And it's in this beautiful yellow pebbled leather gold hardware. And I love this hardware. It's like the it's like see-through. It's really cool. Um, the crossbody strap is removable and also is adjustable. And... You can use this just like as a clutch or even as like a large wallet. Um, it still has the plastic underneath here for the hardware. And there's a big zipper pocket in the front. The largest iPhone does fit inside of there as well. And then main compartment, there's a zipper pocket and then two slip pockets right there. And it is super clean on the inside. There are no marks. And this is going to be item number nine. Yellow leather Tory Burch crossbody bag with gold hardware. And this one is. Let's do 110 for this one. 110. This one's in really, really great shape. Marisol, oh, I'm sorry to distract you. I love that you're at the library, though. Oh my gosh, I love the library. I haven't been to the library in so long. I used to live at the library at school. I used to go there all the time. Oh, I don't... Should I... Did you want this jelly cat, Adrian? Or... Okay, I don't know if anyone collects jelly cats. Like the stuffed animals. I... I literally just saw a jelly cat video about like, someone collecting them. And like someone's mom collecting jelly cats. And she had like 8 million of them. Uh, but this is a jelly cat stuffed animal. It looks like lamb chop, like, but like super fancy, like it's really, really cute. Oh, does it? I don't know. Jelly cat London. Oh, I am Sophie the sheep is the name. So 
Sophie the Sheep. It still has tags. Really, really cute. Lamb chop on a bad hair day. <laughs> Lamb chop after they put their finger inside of the um, the electric socket. But it, she even has glittery eyelids and long, gorgeous eyelashes. She's going on a fancy date out. I don't know. Maybe she's going to the Met Gala. This is number 10. This is our um, jelly cat sheep plushie. And this is, I don't know, $12 for number 10, if anyone's interested. Um, she's a jelly cat. Jelly cat, oh jelly cat. What are they feeding you? <laughs> Alright, next up. Oh, DG House is calling it! Yes, it's Jelly Cat! Uh, so, oh, her name was Sophie. Sophie's going to a good home. She's gonna love it over there. Yeah, I am Sophie Sheep. Yay! She's adorable. And Beaker from the Muppets. Oh my gosh, I forgot about Beaker. All right. Oh! Okay. I still have the Long Chomp. It is large and in charge. This is that special edition Jeremy Scott Long Chomp tote. This is the travel size. It has like the colored blocks from the days of yesteryear on TV. It has black leather trim, silver hardware. The fabric is like a tw like a cotton twill like blend. It's a really good shape. There's like very minor like color loss on the corners, but it's black. So I think I can actually color match it. Um, but there are like some light marks just from being put on the floor, you know, like dirt marks, which I pretty sure those will come out. The inside is super clean too for being like this cream color. Like there's minor discolorations on the inside. Yeah, TV testing. Um, yeah, these are like super collectible. And like out of the designs too, I feel like this one might be like one of my favorites. And I feel like it's I don't know, it's pretty cute. Technicolor TV isn't working vibe. Yes, there you go, Lady Badger. Uh, but yeah, so this is item number 11. This is our Jeremy. Jeremy Scott Long Chomp Technicolor Travel Bag. And this is, okay, this one is 250. Oh, you know, I think I had one of those, like, years ago, Hana. I actually had one of those Jeremy Scott bags. With the film on it. 3 a.m. on PBS. That's it, Marisol. All right, number 12 is next. And it is... Um, this is a special edition coach bag. It's in black pebbled leather. It has studs and grommets in silver all over. It has these cool handles with the grommets and like the leather uh, string going through. There's the back also covered in studs and grommets as well. And this bag is in really, really great condition. It has a magnetic top flap. And then the sides do have little snaps. So you can unsnap them to expand the bag more or snap to close them if you wanted it more compact. There's a zipper pocket and two open pockets and a pen pocket in there. And it's really, really clean. This bag is in really great condition. <laughs> this is definitely a wet, yeah, you can definitely whack someone with this and it would, it would, it would hurt. 
but this is going to be item number 12, our black coach, um, studded shoulder bag. All the straps are also long enough to carry on your shoulder as well. And this is $75. That's number 12. Smelly cat, smelly cat. What are they feeding you? As a defense or offense, yes. Okay, next up, number 13 is... Oh, okay, let's do this one as number 13 because I really like this cute little bag. Um... This is a Tory Burch phone bag. My mom actually has this bag in navy. And I think I, I think I got her one in like a different color. Like I think it was like yellow. I don't remember. But this is a Tory Burch phone bag. Um, these bags were so expensive when they came out. I think they were like around 300 or something plus dollars. Uh, something crazy. This is in a golden brown color. It does have like some minor like rubbing on the corners. It's very minimal. Uh, there's a back pocket right here. The crossbody strap is adjustable. And then the interior has um, three built-in card slots. And it just has a fabric lining inside of there. This is a really good size. You can throw your phone inside of there. Fits perfectly. There's space for even a card like a little card wallet if you wanted but it also does have the built-in card slots you also have that pocket in the back as well exactly marisol <laughs> isn't it so cute tara adorable so this is number 13 this is our golden brown leather tory birch phone bag and it has gold hardware okay this one is gonna be let's do 80 dollars on this one this one's 80 dollars that's number 13 oopsies And it looks like Carbon is calling number 13. Congrats, Carbon! Yay! Yay! You're gonna twin with mom. All right. Next up, 14 is gonna be. Dun, 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 dun. Why do I only have a Tory Burch bag? This is crazy. Um, next up is a Tory Burch bag. This is a little Tory Burch crossbody. Hey, Brandon. How oh my gosh, is that Evanescence? Stop. I love Evanescence. <laughs> uh, this is a Tory Burch crossbody. It's in black pebbled leather. I love this hardware. Um, it does have like some light marks in the hardware. Nothing crazy though, but. It does have like some light marks on there. Uh, it does zip across the top and it does have built in card slots and like a slip pocket. So you can kind of use this as like a, oh, there you go. You can kind of use it as a wallet if you wanted um, or a, a wallet kind of clutch. There's a cross body strap, which is removable. And yeah, it just has black leather. It does, it is gusseted too on the side. So it will expand a little bit and the perfect little size. You can use this for so many things. I love like bags like this. You can use it as like a little pouch. You can put it in another bag. I love having a small bag instead of big bag. So in case you don't want to bring your big bag with you, you can just take your little bag. Uh, this is our black Tory Burch. 
leather cross body bag. And this is Yeah. Wait, how much later? Okay, this one is going to be $85. That's going to be number 14. Number 14. Um, next, this is a black Montclair backpack. It's in black quilted nylon, and then it has black leather trim, and then black hardware. It's in pretty good shape. I like, the, like the only thing, um, there's like a little bit of color loss on the zipper pull right here, but it's like on the inside. So otherwise, like all this hardware is really good still. Um, it has a little leather top handle. The straps are both fabric and leather. And they are adjustable. You got the the horizontal quilting in the back, diamond quilting on the front top. There's a nice zipper pocket right here. And I love the orange lining of this bag. I think it's so pretty. And there is a zipper pocket right there. And then two open pockets on the bottom of the other side. Mar right, Marisol? And this is uh, Montclair. This is made in Italy. I believe these backpacks, um, I think they go for around, like, the re retail is almost $1,000 for these. But it is such a great backpack. I love that it's, like, nice and lightweight, too. Um, but I love the leather touches on the bag. And the quilting, so good. So this is number 15. This is our black quilted Montclair backpack, black hardware. And this is, this one is $200, number 15. And then the nylon of the bag is in really great shape too. There's no like rubbing or holes um, on the fabric at all. That's number 15 for 200. All right, next up is 16. This is a Marc Jacobs camera bag in black and it has this the Marc Jacobs like logo here on the front. It's in like a cream color, and it's um, like a debossed, like stamped kind of feel to it, which is cool. Uh, inside just has one interior pocket. The back. It's in pretty good shape. Uh, gold hardware. It does have a little bit of color loss on the hardware. A little silver is coming through, and it has this uh, camo printed strap one side has a camo print the other side is black and it is fully adjustable oh linda welcome back but it's cute it's a great little crossbody largest iphone definitely fits inside and just cute easy everyday bag this is our black leather mark jacobs camera with camo crossbody strap and gold hardware. I feel like I don't type as well as I used to. I need to like start typing some more. Okay, this one is a 90, it was $95. We're gonna do 90, a little, little discount. Um, that's number 16. Okay, 17 is next. Oh, I have this cute Liebskind, a little Limp Biscuit bag. This is in gray. Um, I love like these details around the top flap. They're like, I don't even know like how, like what these are, 
there's like um they're like little metal studs underneath and then they have holes so you can see them it's really cool looking you also see it on the little top handle right here as well but it's kind of like a little messenger bag style you got pockets on either side there's a big zipper pocket in the back and then this little buckle pops open it zips across the top <laughs> it's only because you're here hana uh, here's the interior there's a zipper pocket and then two open pockets right there right linda it's so cute um bag is in pretty good shape the leather looks pretty nice i think there might be like some slight variation in color in the top flap but i feel like that happens to the leap skin bags because of the their their vegetable dyed leathers so they will like patina and like age with you as you go along but i feel like the bag is in really great shape top handle cross body strap removable and adjustable and it has brushed silver hardware and it's a really pretty gray color so that's going to be item number 17 um skinned uh gray leather satchel with brushed silver hardware and this is okay this one is forty dollars for zero that's item number 17. All right, up next, 18. <gasps> Wait, did I show you guys my bag of the day? Hold on. Um, this video is brought to you by my new bag that I just got yesterday. If you watched um, this morning's YouTube video, it's also the video that you're going to leave your answer to today's question in, which I will actually link again for anyone that's, oh, there are actually more, way more people in here than there were earlier. So if you want to enter the giveaway, I'm giving away a brand new Impressions by Vanity uh, mirror, a little compact mirror. Leave your question, leave your answer to today's question in the comments of that video. It was this morning's YouTube video. If you haven't watched it yet, you can watch it after the live ends. Um, but I got, this amazing chloe bag and i'm so happy like i love there's two styles i love the most from chloe it's the chloe marcy and then the chloe parody and i love the parody so much because it's such a unique style such a unique shape and this was my favorite um like uh variation that they did of the parody which is called the military parody and my mom actually bought the bag in navy when it first came out um, and she paid full price, and that bag was like $2,500. It's crazy. It was the bag that she got to commemorate um, my nephew Cade's, like, when he was born. Um, my mom, like, she, like, buys a bag for, like, like when each child is born. <laughs> so, like, she'll remember it forever, and she'll have the bag. And it's one of those things. Um, and she got it in navy. And the, the bag came in navy, this yellow. It came in a brown and black. And I have always been obsessed with this yellow one. I love like the brown strap and it's just so cool. It's like such a cool shape. The strap too is really fun. The normal strap for these bags is like a, it's like a thin, almost like rounded leather crossbody. And they're cute, but I feel like this is really cool and unique and the contrast is amazing. And they made these with lambskin leather, which is so cool. And this was only $40. It was crazy. My house smells, oh, Cindy, that sounds amazing. I'm sad that we don't have any other fruit that I can juice because I'm a, I've been obsessed with like making juices and I just use all the fruits. I think I need to go to the grocery store, but I'm scared to go out in the rain because it's torrential right now. But yeah, $40 for this bag. It was tw like $2,500. So such a cool find. I'm so excited. I, I can't take the tag off. I just like want to keep it on forever. I'm like that girl that like laminated her tag for her stanley valentine's day cup like i want to laminate this and just like keep it there forever like a bag charm or something which i probably will like keep it and just keep it inside the bag i do that for literally everything so i can always show people how much of a deal i got on something because no one ever believes me but yeah so cool obsessed 
yellow. Hi, Lakenna. How are you? Thank you, Jean. Okay. So, sorry, I had to go off on a little tangent. Uh, but next up, we have number 18. And for 18... Oh, I still... I have this. Um, where'd it go? I have another long chomp. This is another Le Pliage. This is an all leather Le Pliage tote in gray. This is a beautiful one. The leather is so soft on this one too. I love that this one has the long handles. It doesn't have the crossbody strap. This isn't the style that has the crossbody. Um, if you really wanted to, I'm sure you can like add grommets to this if you wanted um, to make it a crossbody, but I think this is the perfect like little shoulder bag. The leather is super duper soft, super light. Um, it does have like some watermarks on it, but I don't mind it. I feel like I like it on this bag. I feel like Longchamp Le Pliage totes are like meant to be like lived in and worn. And honestly, like the marks are not even super obvious. And they might even fade away over time. But gray leather, super soft. It has silver hardware. Inside is nice and clean as well. There's a zipper pocket and then an open pocket on the other side. Uh, yeah. It's a great bag. It even, it, these are the ones that pack away too. So it has a little button snap on the back so you can fold it up like the normal uh, nylon Le Pliage totes. And this is number 18. So this is our gray long chomp leather. Okay, and this is... Okay, we're doing this one for 120. So 120, that is item number 18 for our long chomp. Okay, next up, we have number 19. Need to, I need a water. Mm -mm -mm. Next up, I have this Coach Canteen bag. And this is in a tan uh, monogram canvas with these pink flowers. It's really pretty. There's the back. I love the print. I think they're peonies or they're roses. One of the two. Oh, are they lilies? Oh, okay. There's a pocket here on the front. It zips across the top. This does fit the largest iPhone inside. Inside is nice and clean. You just have one zipper pocket, or one open pocket, not a zipper pocket. Just one zip pocket there in the back, but it's such a cute little bag. The crossbody strap also is adjustable. And this is a, like a special, like re-edition of the Coach Canteen. It has the pink leather trim as well. The bottom is also in leather. And this is number 19. $95 for this guy. Yeah, it's very like spring, summer. I love it. Twenty is next. I can't wait for spring. I can't wait for the rain to stop. <laughs> I feel like it's preventing me from doing a lot of things that I want to do. I really wanted to like clean out the garage, but like I can't do it if it's like constantly raining. It's really hard. All right, next is. 
Oh! Okay, I have this. This is a large Tory Burch tote bag. I'm sorry they're squished these all. Um, this is a large black leather tote bag. It has these like big straps, perfect to carry on your shoulder. And this has a million compartments. It's a black leather. The sides are in a canvas and they have magnetic closures. But if you wanted to expand it like this, you can also like expand the bag as well. So you can kind of change up the shape a little bit. Um, both sides have large, like open compartments. And then it has like a double zip. So behind those, there's two zipper compartments. And then in the very middle, like this bag is large and in charge. This is like a great school or um, work bag, even travel bag. You have a zipper pocket and then three more pockets in there. Like so much space, so many compartments to store everything. This will fit like a 15 inch laptop inside if you wanted. Um, bottom is also leather. It's in really great shape. I just kind of had it squished. I apologize for its squished look. Hi, Dee Dee. This is our black leather and canvas Tory Burch tote bag and has gold hardware. And this is how much, Adrian? Okay, we're doing this one for $80. Again, it's in really great shape. I, I, I'm sorry, I just squished it. But it's already like ironing out. Like, but it's a really, really good work bag. This will fit everything. Next, I have... Number 21. <laughs> I have like so many toy bridge bags. Um, let's do a coach. I still have the mini pillow tabby, the coach pillow tabby in silver. It's so cute. It has gold hardware. The mini pillow tabby is my favorite. We got the little top handle. We got the puffy hang tag, crossbody strap, removable and adjustable. Also, the little strap is also removable as well. Magnetic top flap. Still has the stickers on the hardware for the magnets. It has a middle dividing uh, piece right here. And then there's just one little slip pocket in the back. It's nice and clean on the inside. It's fully lined in leather as well. And the bag is in great shape. All the corners look really good. The color is super vibrant, and it's just a fun bag. So cute. The pillow tabby is so squishy. I love that Napa leather that they use on these bags. It feels amazing. This is number 21, our Silver Coach Mini Pillow Tabby with gold hardware. And this is... 195 that is number 21 195 for our coach mini pillow tabby in silver metallic silver leather oh i also still do have this this is um a la sport sack a lot like a duffel overnight bag and it has these um like nesting dolls printed all over. There's so many compartments. There's two large zipper pockets on either side and then smaller zipper pockets on the corners. It zips across the top and the inside is nice and clean. And it also does come with the little keys on here. So you can actually lock up the zippers, which is really cool. I've never seen this mechanism before. So you can actually lock the zippers and um, prevent them from being opened. So I thought that was really cool and it's in like new condition. There's no marks or stains or anything on this bag. 
It also does have the crossbody strap, which is removable and adjustable. But yeah, this is our Lefort Sack nesting doll duffel. And this is how much we did? Okay, this is $25 for our tote. If that's calling number 20, congratulations, that's our first tote bag. Congratulations, Yvette. One. All right, next up, we got 23. What did I put that bag over? It fell. All right, next up, I want to give you guys some variation. Can't just do all Tory Burch bags. <laughs> Um, hmm? Oh yeah, I'll do that one after. Okay, next up, this is a Rebecca Minkoff belt bag. Beautiful, like, golden tan leather. It has silver hardware. You got three zipper pockets in the front. You have the adjustable belt here on the back. Um, and you can remove the belt and just use it as like a regular belt without the bag as well. Or just use the pouch. Um, by itself, you can use it as a makeup bag, um, evening clutch. There's, there's one open pocket inside of there. I know it's hard to see, but it's super clean on the inside. The exterior is also nice and clean. The top two zippers are actually pockets, so they're usable. The bottom one, you can unzip it, but it's just aesthetics. There's no, um, you can't put anything inside. And yes really great condition um the belt size is about like a size medium um yeah this will fit up to like a 30 in 36 inch waist so 36 inch waist will fit on this belt and you can also wear it as a body bag like this too Carmen, um, I'll show, I have more Tory Burch, so I'll show you those too, of course. Uh, so this is our Rebecca Minkoff Golden Tan Leather Triple Zip Belt Bag. And this is in like new condition. And it has, how much? Okay, this one is $45. It's going to be item number 23. Oh my gosh, my eye, like my right eye has been twitching since yesterday. I don't know what is wrong with it. I feel like my allergies are like attacking me and there's like it's causing like eye spasms <laughs> either that or I'm like having like a mini like I don't even know oh it stopped okay <laughs> I feel like I look like Pennywise the clown when my eye starts twitching it's just like my eye looks like it's wandering off or something uh okay so that's 23 or Rebecca Minkoff. <laughs> Some Vadrian sings a song about my eyeball. All right. Next up. <gasps> P.S. Has anyone seen um, dehydration, really? But I drink so much water, so it can't be that. <laughs> though, maybe I can, always, I can always drink more water, though. Um, oh! Has anyone seen, like, they're they're doing, like, some sort of, like, interview with Yolanda Salazar? Like, the lady that, um, unalived Selena. Like, she's gonna be out of jail soon or something. Yeah, Hannah, like, I don't know. It's, like, really windy, really rainy. Everything is just everywhere. Okay, this is the other bag that I was going to keep for myself. And I feel like I'm just going to show it to you guys. If it's if, if you guys want it today, I, I think I'll be okay to part with it. But um, this is such a cool bag. I believe this is actually from, like, the men's collection. But anyone can carry it. I know, Kirsten. She's, like, getting out of jail. Like, she's coming out, like, really soon. So, but it's crazy. 
and I don't know what they're going to talk about in that, like, that interview, like, documentary film thing, but it seems crazy. But this is a coach um, bag, and when I first saw it, I thought it was, like, a Celine or something. Uh, Marisol, it's Yolanda Saldivar, I think that's her last name, Salazar, Saldivar. She's getting out of jail. She's the, the lady that unalived Selena, the singer, in, like, the 90s. The, the movie that, like, the, uh, that J-Lo played, Selena, that's the movie that she became famous doing. But, yeah. So, I don't know. It's been all over TikTok. I keep seeing, like, commercials and people, like, talking about it coming out. So. Ah, thank you, Carmen. That is, that is a good tip. Sandoval. There you go. Is it Sandoval? You want to Sandoval? Oh, there you go. Why did I think it was like Salazar? I don't know. I thought it was like Salivar, Sandoval. That's something. Um, but this is a coach crossbody bag. Um, the strap is adjustable. So you can wear it like a shoulder bag or like as a crossbody. I really like to carry it. Like, I like it like this. I think it's like really cool. And it has like this fold over top flap and then that opens, it unzips, and then you can get into the main compartment of the bag. And it has um, a large, it has like a zipper pocket, it has three built-in um, pen pockets. It's so hard to see because the bag is so floppy. But there's lots of compartments, there's pen pockets. Um, it's a really good size. I think you can fit like... I, I feel like you can fit a 15 inch laptop inside of here if you really wanted but it's such a cool bag um has a little coach uh tag right there and it has like a chunky zipper pull as well and it's just made of like this beautiful scrumptious like black uh, dark brown not black dark brown pebbled leather Yeah, they were like best friends. It's crazy. Wait, are you serious, Hana? <sighs> so, Hana, you have lived like a crazy life. Um, so this is item number 24. This is our brown pebbled leather coach. Uh, messenger flap bag with silver hardware. And this one is how much, Adrian? Okay, we're gonna do this one for 135, and that's gonna be item number 24. Yeah, it's crazy. I am interested in seeing that like documentary though. I do want to watch Selena now because I love that movie. Oh, did you guys watch the Grammys last night? Any Taylor Swift fans out there? Cause um she like she's gonna release a new album. There's like all these things. People are already pre-ordering it. It's getting crazy out there. Um, Dee Dee, it's on the seventeenth. We're doing the unboxings. Oh my gosh, Hana, that is crazy. <gasps> I can't believe that happened. Yeah, I heard that um, the Grammys were actually, like, really good this year. I didn't watch it, but um, all of the... All of the, like, performances were pretty fun, I guess. Um, I think... Oh, Han oh Hannah Montana. <laughs> uh, Miley Cyrus won a Grammy... 
and she performed too for um I for flowers so that is true of it a lot of people are like very yeah Okay, um, this one was, so this one's 24, next is 25. We have our forest green Tory Birch crossbody flap bag. It has gold hardware, it has a cute little tassel. This one is in like new condition also. Such a cute bag. Interior has one pocket and it's nice and clean on the inside. Okay, it's the green Tory Birch flat bag. Green Tory Birch. Yeah. That's yeah, super cute. The crossbody strap too is adjustable and this is $80. That's a good price for this one. Um, only probation, Hannah? That's nuts. Were you able to like get like a restraining order or anything like that? Uh, 26. is next and oh yeah the um, I have this little Dagny Dover um bag and it's in like this gray blue neoprene and it has like this what is this called um this front pocket right here and I don't think this is the original strap that came with it, but you will get this strap. Um, it's like a fabric, black and cream fabric strap with gold hardware. Interior of the bag is, hold on, let me see if there's anything on here. Did they write on here? Oh no, that's good. Okay, here's the interior. It has three built-in card slots and then a slip pocket, it just says Dagny Dover inside. Uh, super clean on the interior. I think this should fit. Oh yeah, largest iPhone does fit inside. And it also does fit in this little front pocket right here too. That is crazy, Hana. Oh my gosh. So this is number 26. This is our gray, blue, neoprene, uh, Dagny Dover cross body bag. And this is um, $30. That's so gonna be number... Oh yeah, Didi. The Tory, was it the black one? It's it's kind of like a pouch wallet. Like there's built in card slots in the inside and it's like a, it zips across the top. So there's this one in black leather and then the yellow one, uh, where'd that go? <clears throat> the yellow one looks like this. And this one has like, also, it has like um, different compartments, like two slip pockets, a pocket, and a zipper in the front. But, those were like the, um, those toys. Oh, I also have this. I think I, sh I, th I showed this one in the beginning. This is like a little flap 
Cory Burch bag. Okay, next up. Um, wait, 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 which one, DD? The yellow one? Um, oh, the last one? Was it this one? <clears throat> this is a flap bag. And it's in like a Safiano coated canvas, and then it has like a patent coated canvas, and the little diamond shapes are um, embroidered onto the top flap, and then it has gold hardware. It has a back pocket right here, and then magnetic top flap, so this opens up, and then the interior just has a uh, one zipper pocket right there and just black interior lining it is super clean in the interior it's in really good shape <clears throat> this one was item number oh, i spelled tori birch wrong um that's number seven it was seventy dollars Yeah, so this was number seven, it was $70 for this guy. I have another Tory Burch. Uh, this one is a black leather Tory Burch crossbody. And this has the large Tory Burch logo. So it's like cut in half, one side, and then the other side has the other half. Um, and that's pieces of leather that are um, sewn onto here are really cool the leather on this is super soft this is black leather and it has gold hardware there's a magnetic snap up at the top and then there's a zipper pocket on one side and then the other side has um three slip pockets hey don how are you how's work today and then, yeah, it has a magnetic snap at the top. Crossbody strap is adjustable. Just a great crossbody bag. Um, nice and lightweight. It's flat. This holds a ton, though. It's a good size. <clears throat> and we are on number 27. Our black... And this is how much it is. Okay, this one is gonna be seventy-five dollars. That's number twenty-seven. <laughs> Dee Dee. Oh man, the rain is just coming down. It is not letting up. Oh, Lakenna's calling number 27. Congratulations. <laughs> Hana. All right. And then next is 28. <clears throat> this is a large... A metallic gold Kurt Geiger tote bag. And the leather is so soft on this. This bag is made in Italy. Um, it's unlined. So it's suede on the interior. It just has one zipper pocket right there. It smells amazing. The bag is super clean inside and out. The straps are long enough to carry on your shoulder like that. But metallic gold. Um, there's like no rubbing. This bag looks brand new. And it just has um, Kerr Geiger like embossed on the front. Kerr Geiger made in Paris or made in Italy on the front. 
And it's also on the inside as well, above the pocket. But such a fun, beautiful bag. Oh, right, Hana. We all need a non-leather bag when it's not raining. Tori Flo oh, congratulations, Didi. Yeah, that was one of you, that was number seven. Where are you? There you are. Okay, and then this is number 28, and this is our metallic gold Kurt Geiger tote bag. And this one is $65, and that's number, oh, I, that's number 28. I'm sorry, I didn't put a number on it. Number 28. Um, I can't find, you know what? Hold on, I think, did I put it back there? I feel like I need to bring the gavel back. I also feel like I need to bedazzle the gavel if I ever find it again. Oh no, it wasn't here. I thought it was there. I'm gonna look for it today because I I need to find that thing because I miss it. <laughs> Imagine I bejewel it and then every time I use it, like all the jewels just fall off. All right, uh, so that was 28, is our Kurt Geiger. Next. Oh, the gavel is so fun, Dee Dee. I don't know how I lost it. I lost it when uh, my aunts and uncle and cousin, they were visiting from the Philippines. They were staying here, and they stayed in my room, and I was, like, cleaning it and trying to put everything away, and I lost the gavel when they came. I don't know where I put it. I think I put it in a box. Okay, um, next up, I have, oh, I forgot I had this. This is a Claire V bag. This is called the Simple, the Simple Tote in the mini size. And this one has a crossbody strap in black leather. The body of the bag is a olive green suede. And then it has these leather stripes going all around the bag in uh, green, navy, orange, and yellow. And this bag is in really, really great shape. Inside, super clean. Chambray fabric lining. It just has one slip pocket in there. And... <laughs> Hada. This is number 29. Sorry. Olive, green, suede, leather, um, Claire, Vivier... Mini simple tote bag, black leather trim, and this is $85, and that was number 29. Next up. I have this really great Tory Burch tote. Uh, this one, I think this is the Robinson um, tote bag. I love the hardware. It has like the leather inlay inside. So you just have like the hints of the gold metal. I think that's really, really pretty. I love that hardware. You have um, all these like buckle kind of designs on the top handle. And then you have like the belting that goes around the top. It kind of like looks like a, like a Birkin or a Kelly. The straps are nice and long so you can wear it on your shoulder. And I believe the straps are, are these adjustable? Yeah. So these are adjustable, but I think these are the longest that they go. They will go shorter, but this is the longest that these straps will go. And it's a really pretty golden brown color on these bags, uh, on this bag. And at the top, it does have a magnetic snap. And then the inside has a zipper pocket and then two open pockets. It is uh, nice and clean on the interior. You can actually undo the sides, I think, of this bag, can you? 
Yeah, if you wanted to undo the sides, I believe you can. They have little um, pieces right there. So if you wanted the bag to expand, you can do that as well. And oh yeah, you can even make them even smaller. You can contract them a little bit more. So that's pretty cool. The bag has some customizable aspects to it. It's a great size. This will fit like a 15 inch laptop um, vertically. So if you put it sideways, it'll fit. Um, also another great work bag, school bag or everyday bag. Great slouchy tote, perfect on your shoulder. <laughs> Dee Dee, no. Uh, this is our golden brown leather Tory Burch tote bag with gold, yeah, gold hardware. And this one is going to be, we're going to do this one for $80. That's going to be item number 30. What time is it? One thirty-six. But yeah, this is item number 30. Our gold brown or golden tan leather toy birch tote. It's so pretty. Oh, the, like the exterior leather too is in really, really great shape. There's like, I don't think there's any marks on it. All the corners look really good. The bottom is nice and clean. The hardware has like barely any marks on it and the inside is like super clean as well. That one's a good one. Okay. Um, next up, wait, should we, do you guys want to keep going a little bit longer? Or did you guys want to end it for today? So that one. Right, that golden brown is really, really pretty. Okay, we're gonna keep going. We'll go. We'll do a couple more. <gasps> you guys, I'm so excited. They had some of the flower Legos at Target, and I got like these sunflower ones. So cute. <laughs> Dee Dee, keep going. Even though I spent too much already. All right, next up. I did all these. I gotta move this over. Dee Dee called that one. Got those. Get this guy. I still have the jelly um, jelly tabby, the coach jelly tabby. This one is brand new with tags and dust bag. It's in the gold glitter. Again, I got it squished. It has the hang tag, crossbody, bracelet. Um, tag is right there. And I have the dust bag on the interior. And then inside, so cute. I love this bag. I'm trying to manifest the blue one. So help, help me manifest that, you guys, because I really want that one. But this one is super cute, glitter gold. And this one is 245. This is our uh, new with tag coach jelly tabby in gold glitter. 245, number 31. <laughs> that Dooney was really popular. 
the Bally bag was really popular too. Like after the live, I got quite a few um, emails. I think that one was like the most emails I've ever got, like I've gotten in a while for an item was the Bally and also that um, the Blue Dooney and that like olive green one. Those are really popular. Okay, so that was 31 as our Jelly Tabby. 32. Lauren, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Lauren, I'm sorry. That's actually the second one I've had. I had that same um, Bally Kelly bag like a couple years ago. So hopefully I find another one. Um, this next item, this is the a Chloe, a, a Chloe crossbody. It's just like in black lambskin leather, gold hardware. It has like these really cool like braided leather details with like the little rings woven through and it's also on the zipper pull as well which is super cute and then the interior um just has a zipper pocket and there's some light discoloration at the very bottom just from regular wear but nothing crazy it's such a cute bag this does fit the largest iphone inside i will let you know lauren and i will keep an eye out for more um dooney wallet on chain cd did you see the green one from the other night? That one was so pretty. Uh, this is our black Chloe crossbody bag with gold hardware. And this one is how much, Peter? You're welcome, ladies. Peter? Okay, this one is 75, number 32 for our Chloe. Okay. I'm calling back Vader and we had like a weird connection. Oh. Nope. Oh, Dee Dee. <laughs> okay, yeah, I will definitely keep an eye out for more wallet on chains. Okay, so that was our Chloe. That was number 32. Next up, 33. Okay, this one is a, uh, a Marc Jacobs collection. Um, shoulder bag. And this is in a tan quilted leather. This bag is made in Italy, um, gold hardware. We have the two pockets on the front and then it's a double zip. So it has two zippered compartments uh, flanking the bag and in the middle it has a magnetic snap. The front compartment is just it's open, no other pockets. And then in the back, it does have one zipper pocket. Um, there is some slight discoloration at the top by where the zipper is, just from like normal wear. Nothing crazy. There's no like actual like stains or anything. Just like a almost like a lightening of the fabric. Um, but otherwise, like the inside of the bag is nice and clean. The exterior is also in good shape. It has very mild rubbing on the corners. Very like minimal, and it does also have little feet on the bottom as well and this is number 33 uh this is our tan quilted leather mark jacobs shoulder bag and this is gonna be 85. have you guys seen mark jacobs is um re-releasing a lot of his collection bags so i thought that was really cool he started off with like the stam 
And then he's been re-releasing um, other styles as well, even from like the Mark by Marc Jacobs line. So I thought that was pretty cool. Those styles are definitely like in again for sure. So that was number 33, was $85. I think this bag retailed like seven fifty to eight fifty, something like that. And next up, we have thirty four. Oh, I have that Coach Topia. Okay, next up, I have, um, this is a Coach Topia shoulder bag. Um, this is the Ergo, Ergo shoulder bag, and this is in like a lavender pinky purple color with yellow leather trim. Uh, we have the Coach Topia hang tags right here, which are super fun. It says Coach Topia right there. And there's like a little Coach Topia leather tag as well in the same color of that yellow. There is a little magnetic snap up at the top. And then the interior just has one slip pocket. This one is in like new condition. It's in really, really great shape. Color is super duper cute. And this one um, you can wear on your shoulder. It's a little bit tighter, but it can fit. And then you can wear it in your, like, the crook of your arm or on your hand. <laughs> you know how it is finding solace. Okay, so this is our um, Lavender Coach Topia Ergo shoulder bag with a yellow leather trim. And this is going to be... Okay, we're gonna do this one for 145. So that's gonna be number 34, 145 for our Coach Topia. Next is 35. Oh, this one is super cute. Any um, Star Wars, Dooney and Burke fans, this is a Dooney and Burke Star Wars 3 fourths zip around wallet. It's in really great condition and just has like the Star Wars print. You got the Stormtroopers, you got R2-D2, C-3PO, then just the Star Wars. You got um, like the fighter jets and oh, you uh, BB-8 is right there too. He's my fave, I love BB-8 so much. Uh, inside is in this golden brown leather with the green Yoda fabric lining. The change pocket is super clean. It's such a cute interior. Like, I think it's so fun. So many compartments um, and all that good stuff. Uh, Darth Vader? No, it doesn't have Darth Vader. I think it has, um, I think that's Ray on here. On the side, but yeah, no Darth Vader. This is how it looks. Sorry, Adrian was asking. Super cute. Uh, this is number 35. This is our Dooney and Burke Star Wars 3 fourths zip wallet. And this is $60. This one is in like new condition. It's in really great condition. That's number 35. Next up, we got 36. I'm listening for the rain. I think it stopped. <gasps> it did stop raining. 
Oh my gosh, there's so many pomegranates in the tree still. I wonder if any of them are, I feel like they're all old or eaten by birds. No! Sad. Sorry, pomegranates, I didn't get to eat all of you. Oh, pomegranates are so good. That actually sounds delicious. I want to make some pomegranate juice. Okay, uh, next up. <laughs> I know, Don. And right, Kirsten, oh, some pomegranates sound so good. Ugh. If I only had some pomegranates, I could make some juice. My mom bought this cold-pressed juicer, and I feel like I've never lived until now. Like, my life started the day that she bought that juicer. Because <laughs> it is so good. I love making apple juice. I know, like, apple juice has a lot of calories and carbs in it, but it's okay. Um, orange juice. So fresh. So delicious. Uh, pear juice. Uh, I love mixing apple and pear. It's so yummy. Uh, I made some mango juice. And then we throw in, like, some veggies and stuff, too. Like, spinach and celery. Stuff like that. But it is so yummy. And I am, I am going to go buy some fruit after the live. <laughs> I think I need to go to like Sam's Club. <gasps> Ooh, Marisol, that sounds so good. Wait, did I tell you about my salad from um, from lunchtime before I started the live? Hold on, I'll, let me see if my photo looks appetizing because I just threw it together like really quickly. But um, I made this delicious salad it, it's kind of like a take on a niswa but um instead of salmon i use it's the turkey jalapeno breakfast sausages from trader joe's and i just like cut them up into like little medallions and they were it was so good and for the dressing i used uh chipotle hot sauce with kewpie mayo and i don't know it's just like the perfect like smoky, sweet, spicy, um, flavor. I don't know. It's so good, though. Is that it? Was that my photo? Oh, no, that was, that's the wrong photo. That was the photo I used for, oh, here it is. But it was so good. Also, some tomatoes. Um, I just put, like, little dollops of the mayo and the hot sauce in there. I should have mixed it up together, but it's still good like that. But it was so delicious. I highly recommend. Uh, next up, though, I have the MZ Wallace tote. This one is brand new with tags. It's the Metro tote in Pacific and Cloud. Those are the... I think this is Pacific, that's Cloud. Those are the colors. Silver hardware. Hi, Style Chat. How are you? Um, like I said, new with tags. Retail is $1.95 for this. Um, it also does come with a removable pouch, and then it zips across the top. Inside has uh, a lot of compartments. There's a zipper pocket, two open pockets, all that good stuff. And I love the color of this bag. I think it's really, really pretty. I love the two blues. This is a small size. The handles are... Um, they're, it's pretty much just to hold in your hand or like in the crook of your arm. If you have a really small shoulder, you might be able to carry it on there, but, um, yeah, it's not going to go on my shoulder anytime soon. And no, this one doesn't have a crossbody. It's not the style that has a crossbody. This is just purely the top handle, but this is going to be item number 36. And again, this is brand new with tags or MD Wallace. Silver hardware. With... What did you say, Vivian? Um, we're gonna do this one. Let's discount this one a good amount. Let's do eighty-five for this one. Again, brand new with tags. Retail is one ninety-five. That is item number thirty-six. So that's eighty-five dollars for our brand new MZ Wallace tote. The small metro totes in Pacific and Cloud. Next up is 37. Oh, Stasha, you just got home from work. I always feel like the time difference is always so crazy. Like that three hours. I'm always like, it's so early here. And then for you guys over in the West Co on the East Coast, it's like three hours later. It's late. 
The boys haven't even come home from school yet. They're gonna come home soon, though. Ooh, what am I gonna make them for their after-school snack? I don't know. Ooh, maybe I'll make taquitos. That sounds good. Taquitos. Zach loves taquitos. Those are his favorite. He loves, like, taquitos. He loves tacos. Um, and he slathers everything in hot sauce, which I think is really, really funny. He's the only one that likes super spicy food. He loves hot Cheetos. That's his favorite snack. Oh, I do also have this little wallet on a chain. This is a coach, though. So, this is also in like new slash new condition. It's a magenta um, leather coach wallet on chain. It has these silver studs all along the top flap. There's a nice big pocket here in the back. The crossbody strap is removable and adjustable. It has a little snap at the top. There's a zipper pocket here in the front and then interior. It has these built-in card slots, and there's a slip pocket in the back as well. This will fit the largest iPhone inside of there. And then it has, like, this uh, maroon leather. Uh, I believe this is, like, a glove tanned leather underneath that top flap. And just beautiful, like, magenta grain leather on the exterior. Silver hardware throughout. And this is number 37. So this is our magenta studded leather coach wallet on chain and this is it's not a full it's a wallet on chain it's a wallet on chain it's a studded one. Is it magenta, coach? Oh, you called it fold over. <laughs> uh, really? Uh, okay, so how much? Okay, this is $70. That's number 37. And I think we're going to go to 40. So we got three more items. 38 is next. We have um, this little Mark by Mark Jacobs. This is the one with the, I think this is a, a swallow on there. And it's in gold. Super cute. Um, this is a zipper compartment that goes all the way into the bag, which is really nice up top. And then you just have opening right here. There's no other pockets inside of there. And then it has a magnetic closure up top. It does have a crossbody strap, which is adjustable and just a really cute like golden tan leather <gasps> style chat well it's been two hours almost we started at 12 so we're almost to 40 in two hours which is crazy because i feel like i never go that fast this is our golden tan leather mark Jacob's Swallow Mini Natasha. And this is Yeah, it's like a tan gold brown. It's the one with the swallow on it or sparrow. Bless you. Adrian's having a sneezing attack. Okay. While you look for that, I will go on to the next item. Did you find it? Okay, $55. Bird, yes. Well, it is a bird. Okay. 39 
this is another one that I forgot that I had. Um, this is a leather, all leather, uh, to me laptop briefcase bag. It's in black leather and it has gunmetal colored hardware. It has a lot of compartments. There's like this zipper pocket in the front and then inside the zipper pocket it has like three card slots. There's another slip pocket and then it has like a pen slot. There's a magnetic um, pocket in the back and there's another magnetic pocket right here. And then it also zips in the bottom so you can actually put your luggage on here. So you can put this on your luggage and it'll be easy to carry. Um, cross body strap is adjustable and removable. It has a, it's fabric, but it has a leather shoulder piece. And then it has two zippered compartments. The back one is padded and perfect for your laptop. This will hold up to a 15 inch laptop. There's also a pocket inside of there as well, also padded. And then on the other side, you got a zipper pocket on the back there and then two open like larger pockets on the other side. And the bag is in really great shape. It also still has the little luggage tag on there as well. And oh, it does also have little leather feet on the bottom. And that is item number 39, our black to me brief leather briefcase laptop. How much, crazy? Okay, this one is sixty-five, six-five dollars. That's number thirty-nine, and that is to me. And one more item, number forty. What shall it be? Um. Can you guys hear my sister? She's singing while she's. I told you we're always singing. She's going to go pick up the boys right now. Right, Linda? I, I actually bought that bag from my dad because I thought his laptop would fit. But his laptop is actually so large, it doesn't fit inside that bag. So he was sad because he really likes that bag. But he just, he needs like, he needed a, like a laptop bag. And... Um, the one bag that I gave him that does fit it, it, like, only fits the laptop and, like, his charger kind of fits in the front pocket, but, like, it would be better if it was a little bit larger so you can put a little bit more stuff in it, but literally it only holds his laptop and the charger and that's it. I don't know why he has, like, a, I think it's, like, a 17-inch laptop? I don't know. It's, like, the largest laptop I've ever seen in my life. Um, last item for the day is what do i have that's really cool oh i still have mustard my mustard backpack mustard chanel backpack i have no more space to walk though All right, we still have mustard. This is item number 40. This is a Chanel yellow backpack. It's the aquarium backpack. So cute, silver hardware. You can wear it as a shoulder bag and then as a backpack. Clear on top, it's in great condition. Yellow glazed lambskin leather. So cute, super fun, and it's clear up top. Uh, has little feet as well and this is gonna be our last item this is our yellow Chanel aquarium backpack silver hardware and this one is how much greater? 1250 as number 40 our last item for the day one two five zero number 40 um, 
Again, if anyone has any questions about anything, please let me know if you're watching this live after it's already over. You can check down below in the description box. Item availability and the pricing will all be down there. Uh, last chance to enter the giveaway. I'm going to link that here in the live chat. Leave your answers to the comments right there. We're going to pick our winner momentarily. We're giving away this Impressions by Vanity um, little compact mirror. It's so cute, right, Lauren? Ah, so cute. Such a cute little backpack. And that will also come with like all the authentication certificates and everything as well. Uh, I just don't have like a desk bag or like the original um, like authenticity card from Chanel, but yeah, it's super cute. Um, invoices should be sent out within the next 15 minutes. Uh, these items probably won't start shipping, though, until next week. Um, I'm kind of, like, hesitant to drop off anything to Baden right now when it's raining. Because it's just, like, I don't want anything to get wet. And transporting everything is, like, kind of harder when it's raining. So, bear with us. Um, but if I can, I will drop off, like, later on this week. Um, otherwise, you can just keep adding on to what you bought. And save on shipping and then it'll ship next week uh what else was i gonna say um the giveaways are only during the live so if you're watching this after the video or after the live is already done um you can join us at the next live sale which is going to be this saturday at 10 p.m pacific time and you can join us and enter the giveaway then it's always free to join free to enter you don't have to buy anything to win uh and I think that's all the disclaimers. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, it started raining again. I was going to go to the store. I'll probably still go to the store. I need to pick up some groceries. Maybe I'll just... I was going to go to Sam's Club, but I feel like that's going to be a little bit of too much of a mission. But... There's this TV that my mom and I really want to get, and it's the LG portable TV. It rolls, and it's like a 27-inch television. It's touchscreen, and it's rechargeable, and it's on sale for, I think it's like $3.99. It's normally like $1,000, like on Amazon. And I try to find it online. Uh, from Sam's Club, but I saw a TikTok about it, and it was like three ninety nine at Sam's Club. If anyone finds one, please let me know. <laughs> if you find one at your local Sam's for three ninety nine, um, but I'm like on the hunt for one. And mom, if you're watching, I'm still looking. We're gonna find it. We really want that thing. But it's super cool. It's like, yeah, it's amazing. But, um, does anyone have any questions about anything before we pick our winner? Do I have anything else to tell you guys? Any other? Oh, again, um, also, we're doing our Palantine's Gift Exchange on the 17th. I need to schedule that. But it's going to be on the 17th um, at 10 p.m. Pacific time. <gasps> Lady Badger, ketchup is not going to go up for sale, unfortunately. Because I gave ketchup to my mom. And I think, if you, I think you guys might be able to see ketchup right there. Um, I have been... I, I conditioned ketchup recently and haven't given her back to mom yet. But yeah. Hi, Fanny. How are you? How are you today, Fanny? We're right about to end, but um, enter the giveaway really quickly before I select a winner. We're giving away um, an Impressions by Vanity Mirror, like a little, uh, a little compact.
Oh, you're a working fanny. Is it raining where you at? To, where you're at right now too, or is it just me? Okay, I think we're ready to select our winner. Hold on, what, did I copy and paste the wrong link? I think I did. Dun dun dun, where'd it go? Oh. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Okay. Texas is wild. Oh yeah, I believe it. Texas has crazy crazy weather. Um but okay, I think that's it though for today. For I don't think I have any other updates. Um, also, again, if you haven't updated your um, what's it called? If you haven't updated yet your wish list um, on Elfster, please don't forget to do so to make it easier for your uh, Valentine's gift exchange. Um, but I think everyone has done so already by this point. I think so. Again, just try to get your. Uh, items out by uh the seven or for the people to receive by the 17th and then it'll be just like we normally do i'll put a link in discord and then you can join me during the live sale um on saturday the 17th and if you're unable to join um or you're like shy or anything you can just like send a photo or record your own video or whatever but um okay anyway we're gonna pick our winner now in three two one, do, 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 do. Our winner is Lady Badger. Three movie marathon would be taken one, two, and three. That is so funny. I love those movies too. I would all I would love to do a movie marathon for taken one, two, and three. But congratulations, Lady Badger. You are the winner of our impressions by Vanity Little Mini Mirror. Woohoo! And that is it for today. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. Um, I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you guys again. Um, I'll see you guys for sure this Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to have any other sales um, this week, but we will see. I might do another rainy day sale if the rain is still being crazy. Um, tune in tomorrow, though, bright and early at 7 a.m. for a brand new video here on YouTube. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right. Good night. Or good night. Well, good evening. Good afternoon. Whatever time it is over there. It's like 2.13 here. But I'll see you guys all later. Adios. Sayonara. Bon voyage. Arrivederci. Bye. Again, invoices uh, should be sent out in the next 15 minutes. And I'll see you guys all later. Bye, guys.